guys, this is a lawnmower from our neighbor. It's been sitting outside, and you can see around there is it's all dirty and has been under the weather and rust starting to form. So today we're going to take a diagnost diagnostic. How do you say it? Yeah. To to see why it won't start. Okay, so now we're going to do a uh, tour around the lawnmower. So this is the gas right here. As you can see, there's nothing in it. Okay, and then here right here is the air filter. As you can see, it's not that bad. And if you look in this hole right here, that's where the uh, throttle is. And air will go in there. Okay. Okay. And over he right here is the gas filter to filter the gas. And then right here is the spark plug going into the cylinder. And this is the muffler. As you can see, this proof of it's being under the weather because of all the rust around. And right here is the uh, oil. And as you can see, it's nice and clean so it looks like it had a starting problem and it was just left outside okay guys so as you can see we put some gas in it and it won't start and the where you pull the cable to start it 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 has a it's stuck so let's uh tear it down to see what's the problem Okay, guys, so on this lawnmower, it doesn't come with a prime or choke. So the thing, I think what's wrong is the fuel isn't going to the gas filter. Because normally in other lawnmowers, you'd have a, a yeah. primer to pump the fuel to the gas filter. To, to gas. Yeah. start it up. So um, that's what I think it's happening. The gas isn't going to the yeah the engine yeah engine too yeah okay guys so we're going to take this cover off to um to free up this um start yeah. the the motor pull start yeah to see if there's anything wrong in there yeah and grease it up to make mm -hmm. it nice and smooth and then we're gonna come over so we're not going to take the gas out because as you can see this is bone dry there's no leaks no anywhere so and then we're going to be taking this cover off to check if there's anything stuck in the carburetor valves next we'll be taking off the gas filter to see if it's clean or has to be replaced and Last of all, we're going to be checking the spark plug to see if it's still good or we need to change it out. Hey guys, so I have some uh, carburetor choke cleaner. So I'm going to spray some in the in the carburetor and then uh, see if it turns over. Again. Go ahead. Say something. No, no, no. See, he did. Uh, it did turn over, but uh, it doesn't hold it. So it is quite possible that uh, a the carburetor is clogged or something's wrong with it. So I know that's where our focus is going to be at. Oh, there we go. Okay, so what are we going to do with this? You just uh, we spray. So we just spray some stuff and then. Yeah. Okay, guys. So here's the top of the carburetor. This is the throttle where it opens the valves. It opens the 
valves mm -hmm. in the carburetor. So, see, so this is where the air comes in and mixes up with the fuel. And when this opens, it shoots it into the cylinder, letting, making the... Yeah, and then the, with the motor and with the fire, uh, and it will burn it, yeah. which allows the... Uh, yeah, the this the motor or uh, this part here to uh, keep on uh, yeah turning. Okay. So now we're going to remove the cover to uh, gain better ac access better access to the carburetor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's where the uh, what 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 this is. That's the air. No, not air. That's probably gas. Yeah. Yeah, it's part of the gas too. So, so basically, yeah. the yeah, uh, yeah, that's the problem. Is uh, is here. It's the seal. Yeah, the seal. So. So we have to uh, go ahead and take a better look at this and see what the problem is. Okay guys, so we have just removed this cable right here connecting to the carburetor. So we just have to remove this. We already removed the carburetor from, yeah. from the motor. Mm -hmm. Now all we have left to remove is this uh, Throttle yeah. cable. But that's just to take the whole thing out, and yeah. we don't plan on doing that. So from here, all we do is uh, we'll use the carburetor uh, truck and uh, try to spray it clean inside here and also inside of the uh, of this carburetor. Decided to remove the fuel line. No. So here's the fuel line going. Into yeah, and we'll take. Container. We're going to. Uh, Clean the carburetor. Yep. You need to all the oil and, uh, and uh, emptying all the fuel out. Okay, guys. So we're going to open the carburetor to clean it out and check if the carburetor is clogged or has any debris, loose debris in it. We open the carburetor up, and there's. Loose debris in yeah, the dirt inside. Yeah. So, but uh, the main reason we open it is because, uh, well, we do not have the uh, proper tools to clean this. It looks like we will need uh, a spray gun. Uh, we, uh, no, how you call that? Air pressure uh, to spray in here to uh, kind of like uh, free up uh, any debris that might be in in here. But at least we'll do our. Uh, We'll do our best because the fuel, the fuel enters here. So since we see very small particles, it's possible that uh, some particles got in there and then clogged it. So uh, fuel, uh, the proper amount of fuel is not going into this carburetor to mix up with the uh, with the air. Good. So we have uh, this little thin wire, and we are putting it in the. Hole and, yeah, passage hole for the where the gas go to. Okay, so we we I could or I can remove this, but that'll be too much of work to try to take this out and to uh, in order to clean the uh, yeah the you see the output the output in here. But that's uh, that's that's okay right now. So we're just doing this now, and that should be that should be that should be good right now. And what are you doing now? You're putting it back together after we uh, did our best to uh, clean the uh, carburetor. Okay guys, now we are putting the carburetor back onto the motor. Okay, 
Okay, guys. All we need to do now is hook up the cable from the carburetor to up here and the fuel line. Okay guys, so now we have completely put on the carburetor, so all we have to do is put on the carburetor cover for the front, and then the air filter, and the cover for the air filter. The cover's over there. Okay, guys, so now since we have the carburetor uh, full, back and fully installed, we're going to now take off the gas filter. Fuel? Okay. The fuel filter to see if there's any debris in that. Hey, guys. So, we've been thinking this is a fuel filter, but it's not. It is part of the motor where the gas and air go in and the exhaust comes out. So, these would go up and down or open well, and close. That's what you're trying to mention. Up and yeah. close to okay. like the. So, we're gas putting thing. it back. Yeah. Hey guys, so we just removed the spark plug cover. And as you can see, it is all clean and rust-free, mm -hmm. so there is a good connection. So basically, this uh, 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 this uh, lawnmower were used probably uh, three to f about uh, less than uh, uh, six times, and then the carburetor started acting up, and then the owner just left it because everything else looks uh, looks clean. Okay guys, so now we are putting the cover on with the pull start. Okay hey guys, now we have put everything back together and I made sure that all the bolts were checked and I double checked it just to make sure. So now it's time to see this thing start up. guys so it worked. Saw it, it worked okay guys you saw it we have fixed this lawnmower from a non-start to working perfectly so now i guess all we have to do is mow the lawn